Hello and welcome back to Brimworld where apparently our deer are more multiplying. So we have a hind, we have a hard. We will not speak of their family connections and now we have another calf. Let's also hold this and yeah. This is where the mid game begins because now we have a colony. Narda doesn't count, she's just a guest. And we also have cut stones. What this means, actually, let's, yeah, let's designate all of this to behold. What this means, we can build a storage area. We can research, even when Narda is gone. We can do so many things. And we will start right now. <clears throat> now let me think. We need rooms. We have five people. We need rooms for them and maybe like beds, <laughs> but probably not yet because we cannot actually build them, can we? No, but soon. And I would like each of them to have a private bathroom because it can give a mood boost, mood boost later and you never know when you will be saved by a little bit of a better mood. We have lost our garden. We can think about moving our base more to the middle. How is this ground there? Not this, this. Ugh. We need to uh, deal with that. <sighs> there are two ways we can do that. First of them is... Where is it? It's usually somewhere here. I guess it's moved somewhere else. It's from the VGP. And it's terrain something, right? Terrain? No. Ground? Soil? Soil reclamation. Why is it there? And this would allow us to kind of drain the swamp without actually draining it. Just dig out some ground and put it over this. But when I'm thinking about it and thinking about the, the moisture pumps, it actually it's, <laughs> it sounds pretty cheap that we will be able to dig out some dirt and just place it over it. So maybe not. Maybe let's do get uh, moisture pumps, which would mean for now, this is basically the area we can build in. I'm gonna let the game play. Sorry. We do have our refrigerator, but we don't have electricity, so we can do nothing about it, nothing with it. We do need defenses, we need... Oh, we need so many things. For now, I've moved Tasman to this room. Let me think here for a second. For sure, we will be hauling those things inside the, the um, base, I mean, the chunk storage. We do have this place. We can dismantle all of this crap. I don't quite want to dismantle, you know what, we have to not dismantle them, but we have to open the caskets because if somebody gets damaged or a terrible disease and we will be unable to help them, I want to have access to a cryptoslip casket where I can put them in. To wait it out and try to save them. So I think uh, it's actually prudent to... Well, we do. Everyone's kind of naked. Cho especially very naked. <laughs> we don't have clothes. That won't give them a tattered apparel debuff. We might get some here. Okay. They are angry at us. She's got EMP. Uh, what do you have? SMG. And that's a carb carbine. Uh, we have way better range than them. Let's see. He's shooting at us. No, they are fighting each other. Why? Oh no, not my caskets! Bitch! Enemy soldier of ancients. I guess they just didn't have a good time together, did they? Keep shooting at Lutch. Um, why won't you? But also Ilya go uh, extinguish the fire. 
shall go extinguish the fire, save the caskets. Okay, go here, extinguish the fire. How is her gear? Ooh, it's bad in a bad shape. Poor. It's not even worth stripping. This is definitely worth stripping. Uh, strip. Strip. Fight fire. Strip. Do you have anything? No. Yes, pemmican. Strip. Oh, we have another one. Strip. This is actually a lot of good shit. This one is stripped. Okay. That's actually pretty great. We got so much good stuff. I'm not gonna help those guys because they will just get angry at us. Who has a heat stroke? Chaos. Yeah, because you don't have food. Uh, I mean clothes. None of you have clothes. Cho. I'm gonna dress you up and you too. Radiation suit? I don't know about that. Poor awful normal. Wear this. We have a flak vest. You have an armor, oh, that's good. Uh, you can wear this. You can wear this. It's not great. I mean, it's poor quality. We also have you have something, right? Yeah, you do. Ashen. After you're done, please wear this. This is whole urgently. It has been... Why do you not take off this helmet when you're not drafted? It's so ugly. <laughs> I cannot do much about it. <clears throat> we have an EMP launcher. That's also very valuable. Take gin, take gold. He's not even attacking us. I'm gonna ignore him. Allow this. That's a normal pickaxe. Call it though. Hold this. Hold this. Uh, this is Ashen is coming for this. And okay, we have crypto sleep caskets for when we really need them. Sorry, having a bit of a cough today. I have to mute myself every now and then. And from what I've figured out lately, it's that possibly kinda kinda loud. Okay, uh, whole urgent with that. This we don't care about. Gear. I mean, we can strip her, but not expecting much greatness. We have marine gloves. Mm, go wear those as well. And a normal apron. Can you wear this with the things you have? Possibly not. But let's see. I can. You know what? At the same time, medical experience? <laughs> Yeah, we could definitely use a bit of um, medical experience. Ashton came here to deal with some of that. Hmm. Do we use this as a part of our base? I mean, it's kind of stupid not to. It's in granite as well. Maybe science lab or something with those caskets in here? Why is it so unsymmetrical? This, this, this way? Why would you do that? Yeah, I think we're going to claim. We're going to claim these walls. Not quite into claiming the caskets just yet. Wealth. We will... Repair the building. 
with a steel door. This is the middle. This is the middle, right? Is there a middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There isn't. Eh, gross. Fine, build two doors. <coughs> Desperate times, desperate measures. And build two doors as well on this side. There's... It does look like it's in the middle. Am I stupid? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm stupid. Why? Why? Because I built this wall. Then. No, I'm not stupid. I'm just bad at building. <laughs> this is where this goes. And then we don't need that door. We could get a steel door. Uh, now there, this doesn't happen. Either. And that's also because I cannot build. <laughs> okay then. At least I, I realized. <laughs> right. So that's going to be like an extension of our base. I don't know what there will what will be there just yet. But let's deal with that. Oh, <laughs> I guess she just ran. Oh. Go do your thing and then you can uh, start. No, actually, finish after you've eaten. Now, this we can uh, take. We can sell that. We can uh, add a spy or code it, whatever. Screw it. This could also be Cho's little cannibal hat where he butchers humans so that our animals have something to eat. <laughs> nah, it's fine. They have a bit to eat here, and now that we have a dedicated cook, it will not be a problem anymore. Mostly. Um, zone, expand home area. We shall claim all of this. And we will also... You know what? Sure. let's just clean the entire home area. The cleaning area is supposedly kind of buggy sometimes. I've never had problems with it, but since we don't really need it right now, I'm, I'm not gonna use it for a moment. We, but our freezer is starting to be kind of mechanoid field. I know we can smash it, a tribal style, but I kind of don't want to waste it. Okay, uh, we have to get rid of this, which means we have to return rotten here once we have electricity we will be we will start unlocking some other research and also there's the thing we we are using it's so different than the last time i saw it so much cleaner too i like it but there's the thing, we are using a mod called Tech Advancing. What it does is it means... Where is it? Down or up? Here. What it means is our current technology level is Neolithic and it will get better if we research all the technologies of the given level. You can make it, uh, you don't need all, you can make 20% or whatever. I think that's fine enough because in base framework you don't actually advance ever. So if you start as tribals, you will always, always research slower. But, but I don't know if it applies to the pawns that do come from different... For instance, if you get a pawn from a techno technologically advanced nation, does he make your technology level better? I don't actually know but I think it might be that you are just stuck with tribals. But since we have that, I'm actually going to go to research poll right here. And I'm gonna see, group them by tech level and see how it looks like actually. I'm not sure it did it, it, did it just yet. No, it didn't. Maybe next time we launch the game or whatever. It's fine. Otherwise, it should make it so that we have like the, the red ones are here and then the, the, the yellow ones, green ones and so on and so forth. It will be easier to see the past research we can quickly knock, uh, knock out and start 
actually get in buildings we can build. Oh, this needs power. Well, it does make sense. But we have it for the future. That's fine. Now, if we're going to make, say, a lab in here. Is that what we're going to do? I would also kind of like to stop you from repairing first. I mean, repair is important, but it's not as important as building. Also, you're getting heat stroke. Why? Do you really not have anything? Oh, it's really hot outside. Um, well, he will go home once he's too hot. Get rid of the body from here. Hold the chunk. If you could clean this room, that would be great. Because it's it's really bad. I want to make use of it. We could also make this our storage area for now. That's an even better idea. Because then those things really won't bother me so much. And we can finally get rid of this mess from, <laughs> from the living area. Obviously not the most efficient thing when it comes to bringing things for crafting and anything like that, but... And what do we have? We have a lot of slate. Well, a lot. Some slate. Slate wall. Would be nice to... make it oh, the stupid spider webs they destroy all of my plans a bigger path um, trap field oh, they are so bad though will they even help us well a bit i suppose a little bit we have we need a moisture pump we need electricity and we have to start Moist, uh, demoisturizing those things. <laughs> no good, uh, no good skin quality for this swamp. No moisturizing. Area, of course. How else? And we have a bulk goods trader. Great. We are working on this. Let's also hold those things. Hold this out of here. Can you like finish? Finish off this dude, put him out of his misery, it's just cruel. And just... No, don't consume him. Do what you want now. And Tasman, let's go trade. We shall... Any animals you want to sell? Oh, that's there, Phoenix Hawk Alphas. Well, we have our own. We could buy a male and have more. No, that's enough. Don't be greedy. Peace, meat. We don't really need to buy that anymore. We can easily manage. These are so expensive. Hmm. Very advanced processors and na nano calculators, most often used in creation of mechanoid tech or herb world mechanoid swarm foundries. What? What's that? Okay, we can get rid of some crap here. Let's get rid of some crap here. The bear skin is not going great, but I'm still holding on to it. Pig skin, don't want. Lizard skin, very valuable. Plain leather, don't care. Blue fur, pretty good, I think. Elephant leather. Uh, not not that great, honestly. I'm also looking at colors. I definitely don't want insect chitin. Gray could be classy in some place, I suppose. Heavy fur, great. Life magical leather, don't really care so much about. This wand, this is very good, this is very good, want this. We definitely need to buy something, but they do seem to have good things to buy. I don't want yayo. Steel, I don't want any of that, since they apparently don't want to use it because it's too destroyed. And I blocked them from using uh, things that are destroyed, so they don't get mood debuffs. 
So let's get rid of all the crap. I don't want gas masks. And all of this crap is also pretty destroyed. This is... Hmm. We do have a radiation suit now and we do have a gas mask. We could go to like in an, uh, a city opportunity that's basically filled with toxins, but no, I don't think we'll hold on to that. We will be able to make those ourselves soon enough. Single refrigerator, no, we will use it. Bedroll is ours, I like it. Gold for advanced components, I'm not selling that for sure. So what can we buy? We can buy a bunch of steel and we can buy something else. What else could we buy here? Components, nutrient, nutrient, I want nutrient. I don't know if I even want the steel, but no, I will take it. And components, that's actually expensive. But we can afford it. So I suppose let's afford it. We'll get, we'll get uh, money another way. It's all right. Hold the things, hold the training, I, and hold the components. I definitely want to uh, start producing medicine sooner rather than later. We are way off our penoxicillin because diseases suck. This is tainted, isn't it? Yeah, it's tainted. That's why I didn't want to buy it. Okay, so he's doing that thing. Cho, can you just strip this, strip this dude? Hmm. Okay. If someone wants any of it, get it. I won't tell you to. Uh, this room is not clean. I think she broke, right? Chaos, can you clean this room? And this is going to become our new stockpile. And what we will hold here is ammo, buildings, apparel, weapons for sure, items of all kind. I don't think I will be putting our resources there. It's just too far from anything we have right now. But that alone will make it way better. We also can put stuff like... Uh, what's this? Jade... Jade crystals? Um, resource plants. Sure. Resource plants. Anything else we are not gonna be using right now? Manufactured... Mortar shells? Mm, Sabotrons, torpedoes, we don't have any of that obviously, but that's alright. Nutramin we could... I... No, let's keep that here for now. I think that's alright, we will... We will mostly get rid of the garbage here. The jungle disc, you, 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 you gotta be kidding me. Ashen, where are you? Fight it. Don't get bullied. I'll be on your way. And so... That's nice, we have a little bit more storage space. And we can destroy this zone. Whoops, that's a little bit far. <laughs> Stockpile zone. Let's get this back and this is going to be clear all. Manufactured, resources, food. Oh, just meals. Um, corpses? No. Not rotten. Other than that, that's right. Well, okay. Corpses, not human like. Not animal. Mechanoid, yes, not monster. And we will remove mechanoid here. What don't we want? Insect corpses. Does make sense. Uh, if there is gonna be something that we should be able to store but we're not, it will let me know. Okay, let's see what this quest is about. Allah is needing help. Another dude who will just sit here and not do any work. A seven. 
seven prisoners or whether or not guard them not uh, prison them quality accommodation they appreciate i'm sure they do we're not accepting that not at all we could sell those guys some more crap though like the weapons lying around ah it's fine it will deteriorate on its own all right although it does make a mess make it uh, bring all of this crap in and we'll sell it to them now that we have space to actually hold it for a second creativity on area let's get metal stuff hold yeah yeah where are you she's already inside she's here we have electricity. Whee. Okay, so we have electricity. Does this mean we have coolers and stuff? I don't remember. No, but we do have heaters. We have electric stove, crematorium, all the electric benches. Obviously we have uh, generators. We have something in security? No. We have sun lamps? Factory. Maybe that's from the mechanoids. Okay. So now that that's done, let's take a look here. And Devil's Trent wouldn't be bad. We will build an obelisk for a uh, goddamn lisk. And then let's go for basic furniture. And it's like either medicine production. Oh, this is so far away. Drug production. I don't want drugs, I want penoxicillin. Yeah, we, we, we need high-tech research bench for that as well. Complex clothing, we don't really care about. We could make a devil strand farm. It grows so long, but it's pretty good. But also, you know what, no, I would like um, basic production. I would want to be able to make dusters and stuff. I guess that is complex clothing, actually. Yeah, this is a duster. So you can make those lizard skin dusters for everyone. Smithing for the fences, that's kind of basic. Very important, so let's just do that. Or machining. Machining is so important as well. Batteries, of course. Uh, let's not do that first. Mm. Well, the world is open before us. Let's have to make something of it. Turrets, turrets, so important as well. Sentry guns, turrets. Oh, let me tell you, not an easy choice. Gunsmithing, flak armor. So very, so many important things. I think we have to go for machining as well. Oops, sorry. We have to go for machining gun turrets. There is so many things on the way. Well, let's let's take this uh, one at a time, I suppose. Set up if we do get the research going, but. Get to work, Narda. She will be with us for two and a half more days, so that's not a lot. Okay. 
We got some of the weapons in there. Trade with Toby again. Give him flintlock, revolver. I'm really not a fan of grenade launchers. Maybe I'm stupid for that, but I don't really like them. PTW and then... I don't know. Carbines are pretty good, I know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just the range on them. It's just... okay, screw that spear. Now, where would we want? To... How can I plan anything with those spider webs everywhere? How can I? We just got. Hold the Drake. This is their Alcats. Cute. But we're not buying animals. We're just finding them. We could make bigger farms now that we are actually capable of farming again. An area to graze for our creatures would also be good so they don't eat our farms. Okay, let's actually start with that. That sounds fair enough. Uh... Let's build a grassland. Fine, no grassland. Nothing, nothing. We cannot have good things because the spiders took over this entire place. It's just not for us. Okay, um, no good things. Well, then let's build some some houses. Chaos, chaos. Defend yourself. Attack. Yeah, yeah. She has it. She's got it. Mm, yeah, I think I place the rooms and I'll be right back. Okay, change of plans. Problem is, we cannot really plan anything cool because of the spider webs. So for now, let's just make something that's actually um, practical, kinda. Which means we are going to build some rooms here so they can live. We will uh, destroy this place, make it kind of a crafting area. And I was also thinking this will be the... Um, I was thinking the garden for the grass for the creatures. But maybe it will... No, I would rather keep this as our garden. Perhaps expand it a little bit this way. Get some... Some more blocks. Just not go very crazy about it. Crazy with it. Because we cannot really uh, afford to. We don't have the blocks. We don't have the room. There will be time for greatness later. Right now, let's survive. Also, we, we should start to think about <clears throat> making our defense area a little bit more useful. Because basically, we are like, they will go through the traps and then we are, we are going to fight them in our home. That's not the best idea. I wouldn't call what we're going to build a kill box. But like, a fighting yard? <laughs> a fighting yard would be good as well. Maybe I will turn this um, feeding area into a kind of a fighting yard pre-yard. <laughs> Let's see. Chaos, you're mining. You should actually uh, have a pickaxe as your sidearm in that case. Please equip this as a sidearm first. And drop the galvanacles. I have set them to be able to carry whatever sidearms they want, but I I like it because it it allows me to pick things that might otherwise be weirdly limited, but I'm not going to abuse it by... Huh. Interesting. What could that be? Crush site. Oh, but it's so far away. Spaceship Kingdom. I mean, 
How are you feeling? Up for an adventure? Always, I'm guessing. I want to know what that is, but uh, this time I'm gonna send Kitten with her, in case we can actually carry something. Um, bed full for sure, like two medicine. A bunch of meals. Just there is no point in taking it if it will just rot. So I guess send... How fast will those things rot? Is this, oh, this is the time to rot, right? So let's take some peas, like 50 peas? Oh, we don't have that many. Okay, so let's also take the peas. And let's check it out. Worst case scenario, we just book it back. I'm curious what that is. Oh, jungle discs. Cho, fight it. Where is it there? Fight it. You are garbage at shooting. You manage. Good job. This isn't going to be glorious, but it's, it, it should be workable, especially since we will destroy all of this crap, which will give us a lot more space to actually live in. And maybe we'll turn this into a storage area or something like that. That would mean we will need a bunch more rooms, but we can get some rooms, I like squeeze them in here, for instance. That's alright. We just need a lot more blocks. Tons more blocks. Blocks for days. Let's see here. Okay, so Chaos is on her way. Building is underway. And research is also going. How much longer? One and a, well, one and a half days basically until Narda is out of here. Research is finished for the obelisks. And yeah, it wasn't the most uh, important thing, but also it was the most important thing. So, where is it? I don't actually know. I have miscellaneous. No? Is that something we have to craft? It's possible. Well, ain't that the most important thing we have to do? Also, I guess we should think about the wind turbines, right? There's just so many trees here. We could set some here, they will get absolutely mauled by whatever. But I think that's still power wind turbine still might be easier to maintain nah this is they won't fit if we do mine these things out though they will what is this crack stone marble i'm not gonna build uh, this wall out of marble let's look at the crack stone wall Right, that's gonna be alpha biomes, right? Exotic wall, crack stone wall. If we build it like this. We can start to build our wind turbine enclosure. Nothing huge. Gorilla revenge. Who's hunting? Ashen is hunting. Uh, hunt this as well. Ashen. I'm gonna draft you. I'm gonna help you here a little bit. Those are some angry gorillas. One's down. Two. Easy. Uh, haul urgently. Prioritize hauling. Why not? Ah, oh, he never will. He will never do hauling. Okay, prioritize hunting this. 
and then he will haul it. <laughs> yeah, we're totally out of food. <laughs> like, extremely. Well, not extremely, we have four meals, but basically, basically out of food. Okay, the room's cleaner, base is looking better, nothing fits, but... Hunting area. Area, where are you? Ways off. Hunt this shit. Get it. Ooh. Oh, don't, don't go. Okay, chaos arrived. This is this is chaos. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Actually, got spooked. What is this? Damaged ship engine. Infested chunks and bugs. This is strange. Are those actually angry? Yes. There is more of them than I see because of the rain and everything. I don't know, Chaos. How well can we fight this? They come from the infested chunks. And here we have Iria with this problem, but Tasman is coming to help. Ashen, come help as well. I don't want her to just die. And meanwhile, I have this this here situation. We we'll have to be very careful of that mushroom. A zone expand allowed area area one. We absolutely cannot approach it. It will kill us. The, the purple mist. They are nasty. And now area manage area reverse and both of you both of you are allowed just in area one. It does kill the spiders as well actually that might work in our favor. Although we cannot really see what's in those two because well Oh, it barely does anything to them. I think it's much more deadly to humans. Oh, was this a mistake? Yeah. If Kitten helps us, maybe not. If the trees help us, maybe not. Kitten, help! Help, Kitten! <laughs> Expand area home here, Kitten. Kitten, help! like him to attack them that would be amazing I don't think he's gonna nope he's fleeing he's just fleeing <laughs> okay let's book it we're just gonna die here oh, why did you just stay here yes let's just reform the caravan can we uh, why isn't he coming with me? Oh, she's on the other side. What is happening? Why didn't he leave with me? Is he gonna? Try to deconstruct it. Ship home. happened why isn't why is he such a pussy <laughs> oh she's terrible at this oh no 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 um don't run and gun just run i think kitten pissed them off not poison drought oh no or all of our plants are gone uh, chaos. 
I don't think this is for us. I don't think this is for us. Just let's just leave and hope that kitten comes with us this time. Maybe? Are you going with us? No? Let's see what happens. I mean, he must. Yeah, he's going. Okay, he was going before. My bad. I didn't know how the game works. <laughs> bad at the game. Okay. That was, uh, that was a bust. Well then, not every quest can be a resounding success, right? Nobody died. That's great. I, I'll, I'll take that as a success. Now we know that those things, one person, not enough. Okay. Have you guys handled this? Yes. Okay. Be on your way. And with that, I will finish this episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one when we uh, keep, keep building up our base. Probably dealing with some terrible, terrible raid uh, after, against which our traps will be absolutely helpless. And we will say goodbye to Narda, whom we don't know at all, because all she does is she sits and she researches obelisks so that we can actually... Okay, let me see this first. Let me see this first. Can we commemorate goddamn Lisk? Yes, we can. Can we make a sculpture of a spider? Those are the creatures that we can... No, I don't think so. Okay. Details clear all. How much do we need? 160 or uh, a lot of that. We don't have anything good to build it out of. I'm not gonna build the statue out of some garbage. Like at least marble. At least not. And this is gonna be done by Ilya. And we will commemorate our fallen friend, Goddamn Lisk. And now, with that said, and with that said, I will bid you farewell. Till next time. <laughs>